So today is all about drawing our shoes. Uh, really strange that lots and lots of schools in the UK uh, start off their very first art lesson by drawing shoes. It's a weird thing and I don't really know why it happens, but it does. Uh, I've got one that I made earlier just here, uh, but I chose quite a difficult angle to draw this shoe. I chose to look at my shoe from above and looking down. Uh, you can see on this shoe that there's uh, lots of different textures and I've used mark making techniques to try and recreate those textures and represent how the shoe uh, would feel to the touch as well as the way that it looks. That's going to be slightly different to the shoe that we draw in today. So it doesn't matter whatsoever which angle you take when you're drawing your shoe, but you may find it a little bit easier just to have your shoe horizontal. You need a nice piece of paper, a rubber, a pencil, a sharpener. Let's get going. Okay, so uh, a sketch of a shoe. This will be no mean feat. Well, this is my shoe, it's my going out shoe and it's seen a little bit of service. If you look at it, you can see I've been quite, had quite a few nights out with this shoe. There's uh, one or two ale stains on the front there. In fact, I think there's drinks on this shoe that you can't even buy anymore. Uh, but this is the shoe I'm gonna try and just make a relatively quick sketch of. Now, if you wanted to do your shoe, what you could do is you could lay it on your piece of paper. There's nothing wrong with cheating this way and just simply draw around the shoe and then you've got the basic outline that you require. But let's imagine that we can't draw around our shoe. What we need to do is just basically map out the shoe in shapes. So if you've really reduced it to its most simplest form, you've got a square, a triangle and a rectangle. If we put the heel in just to make it a little bit more complicated, we've got another rectangle there. Let's imagine that we're a little bit more advanced than that. So what we could do is we could make our shapes three dimensional and this would give us a, a more complicated foundation and it would also make sure that our shoe drawing, our shoe sketch appeared more 3D in the end. So if you're feeling more competent at drawing the shapes or if you've already drawn the shapes you could then begin to make them look more 3D and this would form the basis, a foundation for our drawing and what we'd do is we'd build it up slowly looking more and more at the detail. But what we'll do is we'll start this shoe drawing again and we'll just keep these shapes in mind. There's nothing wrong with drawing the shapes but if you want to feel that that's a, a little bit restrictive what you can do is just go straight in with drawing the shoe but keeping those shapes in the back of your mind as you draw. Now then, so you may have um, already drawn out your foundation for your shoe and at this point you'd be working the detail on top of those shapes. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to move on to the next stage and just start sketching the shoe like this. So I'm still thinking in terms of shapes but I'm also looking at the shoe quite a lot and trying to sketch out a very rough sort of outline of what it looks like. You can still see the square in there and you can see the rectangle but if you feel brave enough why not go straight in with sketching it like this. You need to make sure that you're not pressing on very hard at all at this point. I've got a HB pencil and I'm just going to sketch it out. I'm pressing on harder so that you can see on the camera mainly uh, than what you should do. So you should sketch this out very lightly and if you're not happy with it, rub it out and start again. And you keep on rubbing out and keep on starting again until you're happy with the foundation of your drawing. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a softer pencil now and I'm going to a 2B and what I'm going to do is I'm going to define these lines a little bit more. Um, only the ones that I feel really happy with so I'm going to outline the shoe because I feel happy with that and just put in a little bit more detail so it's going to stand stronger on the page. So it's time now that we start to shade this shoe. I'm going to take a softer pencil. This one's a, it's a, what? Oh, it's a 6B. 
fancy I'm printing it on the wrong side. So it's a 6B, we're going to take a nice soft dark pencil and look for the darkest areas of the shoe. So we're going to shade in the sole and we're going to be looking at all the different parts of the shoe and finding the darkest areas. If you want to find the darkest area of something that you're looking at, if you squint at it, then all the mid-tones will disappear and you'll only see the darkest and the lightest areas. Now everything in the world has got tone and so we need to make sure that we don't leave any white areas on our shoe. So we're going to fully shade in our shoe quite roughly like this and not too dark just to make sure that absolutely everything on the shoe has been shaded. Everything has some kind of tone but we can use our rubber later to put all the lighter areas back in. And let's just blend that quite roughly with our fingers. I'm going to carry on with this shoe drawing now and start putting in the detail and increasing the tones and just building it up bit by bit. You can easily get carried away when you're doing a drawing and uh, not really notice things that may be going wrong with it. So it's important to stop every so often, have a chew on your pencil, pick on your nose and really have a good study of how well your drawing is doing and hopefully it's progressing well. I hope you enjoyed drawing your shoes if you decide to do one. Some people find shoe drawing a little bit soul destroying. Others think it's a little old cobblers. I don't mind drawing shoes. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Good luck with yours. Bye for now.